And in that particular matter, we believe that certain instruction was issued by a convict within a penal institution. And we are, we are doing our probe, we are continuing our probe because we want to bring closure to the matter as well. But you have to say for yourself. What's for dinner? What's going on here? What's that stink? What's this for? What time is it? What's that? Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> Hey my YouTube friends and family, welcome back to Watson's World. I have some updates on the medic case guys. For those of you who don't know, a young woman Stephanie Williams, otherwise called medic, that's her stage name, an upcoming dancehall artist, went missing more than a month ago. She went missing in August of this year. And of course, there has been challenges locating medic. However, let me just say that um, three weeks ago, I stumbled upon a video by the well-known YouTuber, Politrix Watch. Many of you in Jamaica probably know this YouTuber because he boasts a dedicated fan base. As a matter of fact, I may get attacked about this video when I'm finished with my commentary. But many Jamaicans are certainly captivated by his content as he often unveils insights typically reserved for intelligence circles among the JDF and police officers. Now, in his video, he claims that Medic was tragically targeted by her boyfriend, Dwight Gale, who was convicted on March 19, 2012, Gail was linked to several murders, received a life sentence at the Clarendon Circuit Court. Notably, Gail is also the CEO of Navigator Entertainment, the company that manages Medic's music career. Moreover, this information seems to have been corroborated by DCP Fitz Bailey of the Jamaica Constabulary Force who hinted at the possibility that Medic's tragic end might have been orchestrated by someone from behind bars. This revelation certainly substantiates Politrix Watch's claims regarding Medic's sudden disappearance. Now, while DCP Bailey's statement seems to confirm what the host of Politrix Watch highlighted a few weeks ago regarding Medic's disappearance, it raises some concerns. The fact that three weeks later, DCP Bailey appears to be echoing the same sentiments as Politrix Watch makes one wonder about the thoroughness of the police investigation. However, I want you to take a listen to DCP Bailey's press release and I will be making commentaries throughout the video. We apply the same standard to all the investigation. Alright guys, while DCP Bailey emphasizes that police maintain consistent standards across all investigations, it's essential to recognize that each investigation is unique. By applying a uniform standard, there is a risk of overlooking nuances or specific needs that a particular case might demand. Investigations should be adaptable to the circumstances and intricacies of each situation. The other thing that we call solvability factor, and in every investigation, we have to look at the solvability factor. And um, unfortunately, there are some investigations irrespective of how the, 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 the strategies that you use or the approach that you use, you, you apply all the techniques, you apply, you use technology, you apply all the sciences. And it's a natural thing that not every case will be solved. Globally, it happens. But I want to reassure the public that we apply the same standard to every investigation. That matter that you have referenced, I have also intervened, I've spoken to the investigators, I have looked at the evidence that is 
available, but we are still pursuing that investigation. All right, so let us talk about solvability factor. The concept of a solvability factor can be problematic. While it's practical to assess the likelihood of solving a case, I think this approach might inadvertently lead to some cases being sidelined if they are deemed less solvable. Every victim and their family deserve justice regardless of how challenging the case might appear at the onset. So I think that DCP Bailey's argument on solvability um, can cause a bit of a problem in the public sphere because are you saying that at this point medic's case is not solvable when you have confirmed that the person responsible for medic's murder is currently serving time behind bars and um, if you know how we do our thing we don't make a lot of noise when we do investigation we investigate and then we speak after and that is the approach that we have been taken and we will continue to take this approach um, in all investigation. We investigate and we speak after the investigation. Okay guys, listen to this. While working quietly and speaking, post-investigation is a standard police approach. It might not always serve the public's need for transparency and updates. In high profile or, or, or particularly sensitive cases, periodic updates, even if they don't reveal much, can help maintain public trust. And so the problem with Medic's case is that the family had not been hearing anything from the police. There's not much information put out there about what is happening, the progress. There is no call for help from the, from the public by the police until the family actually carried out a protest. That is when the police responded. What I want to reassure in particular, the mother, I have spoken to her personally that her mother is not neglected. We continue to focus on it and we will pursue all leads and, and use all the resources that we have to uh, bring conclude closure because I think everybody wants closure to their case. I just want to point out that whilst we cannot tell an individual how they should live their lives, but one must be cautious with the type of relationship that they engage in. All right, now guys, this particular comment made by DCP Bailey can be a dangerous one. I think DCP Bailey's advice about being cautious in relationships can come across as victim blaming. Of course, we need to be cautious. But at the current moment, we have a woman who is missing and potentially could be dead. Now, while the intent might be to offer preventative advice, I think it's essential to approach such topics with sensitivity, ensuring that the onus of crime prevention doesn't shift onto the potential victims. Medic cannot be found. I do not believe that DCP Bailey communicating this offered any comfort at all to the public or the family and that is just my opinion and in that particular matter we believe that certain instruction was issued by a convict within a penal institution and we are we are doing our probe we are continuing our probe because we want to bring closure to the matter as well i want to appeal to the public if they know anything about that matter uh, to contact us at 811-311-119. There's no crime that is committed without someone seeing it. So I appeal to our good citizen and people of conscience to reach out to us and, and tell us what you know. All right, guys. No, <laughs> maintaining that a convict might have been involved without providing further details can lead to speculation and fear. If such information is shared, it should be accompanied by reassurances about measures being taken to address such issues 
within correctional facilities. Now guys, I want to say that a pressing question that arises from all of this in my mind is how could this YouTuber Politrix Watch be privy to such critical information even before the police? Is there a collaboration between him and the police force? If not, it's deeply concerning that a member of the public has access to such sensitive information. Where and how did he obtain this data? I also believe that the dissemination of such details by a third party, especially before official channels, can potentially jeopardize the investigation. It might alert suspects, compromise evidence, or even mislead the public. And I know some persons are going to be thinking that I'm attacking Politrix Watch. That's not what I'm doing. But I'm obviously concerned as an investigator that such information would be put out there for the public before the police even respond. Here it is that three weeks after the police is responding with the same conclusion that this YouTuber has made or with the same information that this YouTuber had put out there three weeks ago. It's puzzling. Furthermore, if the information that Medic's boyfriend from behind bars ordered her murder is accurate, it opens a Pandora's box of questions. How could someone from within a correctional facility orchestrate such a crime? What measures are in place to monitor and control communication from inmates to the outside world? If such information is known, what steps are being taken to verify the validity of the allegations? Is the police force conducting the necessary investigation to ensure these claims are not just rumors? They are not just words on the street or what we call intelligence. And might I just add that intelligence cannot convict anybody in court. You have to come with evidence, hard facts. I think one of the most significant concerns with Politrix Watch releasing this information is the potential harm it could cause to the investigation. It could even put people's lives in danger. The overlap between the YouTuber's claims and the official statement without additional insights or progress is concerning to me and calls for greater transparency and diligence in, in the police investigation. I will just say this guys, what a tangled web we weave. I know that there are a lot of persons who may not like my commentary. They may have a problem with what I've said, especially for those dedicated and loyal followers of Politrix Watch. And I don't have anything personal against him. This is not me speaking out against Politrix Watch or anything. But it does concern me to have this information put out there. Yet, we are not closer to solving this case and we potentially have compromised the case at this point. I am always very careful of the kind of information that is put out there. You cannot alert criminals that you are on to them. It's a dangerous thing to do. People, this is where I will finish my commentary. Thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. And as per usual, guys, please click on the subscription button. Also click on the notification bell so that you will be alerted every time I upload a new video. Guys, as per usual, tell me what you think in the comments down below. You can also email me at thenovacop at gmail.com. Until next time, my beautiful people.